Actually, I'm working on the Mazda 3. The reason for that is this problem here that popped up not too long ago. So that's why I haven't been able to do anything. But I already warm up the car, so this is. Let me show you what happens. On the Mazda 3s, you get that AT automatic light that's on. That'll give you the uh, engine light. And the reason that is a problem is because that has to do with your automatic transmission. If you hear the car, it's normal right now. But just wait a minute and you'll hear the fan going. And then you'll see the letters are not going to work. Well, they may come on or off or whatever. But once the AT light comes on you're shifting it's not gonna be as smooth or it's not gonna be there and so I'm gonna be poking a little bit in the engine bay I'm just gonna check all the grounds first on the uh, what do you call it the uh, TCM or the computer module just to make sure we get good grounds there there it goes Oh, that didn't feel good. It just went twice. But you'll get it once it's warmed up. I mean, I haven't even driven the car. It just war I just let it warm up. It just feels terrible. And it has to do with that <coughs> um, transmission control module that Mazda has an issue with on a lot of these uh, Mazdas, not just the Mazda 3. Because they end up putting this stupid module on top of the transmission. See, you heard that? Now I have the AT light on. It's on drive or reverse, but you don't see that. I hear the fan. Now it's on park and the lights are gone. And I talked to one of the dealers. They said it's an arm and a leg. But the worst part is that it had been on back order for two and a half years, which is, okay, I'm on reverse, neutral, drive, and we don't longer see the, uh, the gear letters. Uh, every time I'm moving, it's because the transmission is doing that. So I'm not going to mess with that anymore. I'm just going to turn it off at this point. And we're going to move on to the, uh, there's no 2012 manual specifically, so I got the 2004-2011, which I believe is very similar, but it's, again, this is the unicorn of a car because of the year, I don't know why. So I'm going to be looking at the grounds for the transmission control module, which is right here. I just want to check them uh, with the multimeter just to make sure and then I believe the TCM is this one here or the PCM excuse me power train control mode so what I'm going to do I'm basically going to follow the uh, I believe it's connected to these so the black ones if I remember correctly are my grounds but right now my eyes aren't quite open yet so I'm still color blurry, blurry and these things are so tiny so where are my grounds? Do, 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 do. I saw them last time. So here are my grounds I think. Yep, there we go. I think there's a uh, black and white. So there's the black and white right there connects to that and then that grounds itself and I believe that was the only one there this is the PCM so I'll look at that <coughs> and the TCM where was the ground I think the TCM goes straight to the PCM that's why there was no uh, grounding there if I remember right <coughs> And they do ground on the uh, sensors, obviously, right here. So if we look at this one here, 
black it goes all the way up to that sensor which is the pressure switch so that gets grounded there but <clears throat> the ground for the actual TCM I believe it came from the PCM anyway, so I, anyway I just want to check those um, before I take the TCM out I know it's most likely the TCM that's doing that so I'll be taking that out and we're gonna do another video on that and see if we can fix it